Okay, this is Clooney. And Clooney, he's not freshly bathed, but, um, and he was just groomed last week, so he does, I'm not going to be taking any coat off. I'm just going to be showing you the technique. Okay, so, well, how I do their muzzles, I take my blade against the skin like this. Not like this, like you normally wouldn't cut, but you drag the blade this way with the blade edge like this. When you drag lightly, it just takes off the whiskers and the wispies, and you get a really, really plush muzzle. Stop. Okay, so take your blade, drag it from this eye down like this. Okay, and then you can skim off the bottom of the lip and edge your lip, and it makes a real pretty, pretty lip. Now, you guys were asking about the crown and where everything is set. And the way I do my ears is I come up against the grain with a 10 to about two fingers above the ear set. Okay, up with a 10 against. Then I do a 7F and I come up right where I left off with my 10 with a 7F and I come up and just kind of lightly skim up. That will blend my 10 against into my crown and start that blending. You can see here on the corner of the eye, this cheek is really tight. Okay, 10 against from the ear to the eye. The line is, is right above, right where the corner of the eye to the top of the ear. You want this nice and clean. You can see this top skull. You can barely see any lines where, where this was done by a blade or left long. The, the brow is completely nice and clean. That's done with thinning shears or very lightly skimmed with a 10. Okay, the crown starts beyond that brow. The breed standard says that they should have a well-defined brow. So you need to take that off. Then your crown is going to be past that. The line is from the corner of the eye, semicircle around the top of the skull to the corner of the eye. Okay, nice semicircle. Then what you're going to do is you're going to use your thinning shears and you're just going to blend this crown into this clipper work. Okay, so what's going to happen is you're going to have a clip line about here and here. And this is going to be longer in the center. And this is what's going to blend in your crown into your back work. Okay, so you don't want to clip this back skull. You see this hair? You want to blend it so it looks very natural. So it goes from long to short and then to long into the black to the uh, back work. Okay, so two fingers above the ear set. Skim up with a 7F to start skimming that in and blend all this in nice and tight right here, very tight. And that will make your, your lip pop out. And another thing that I do is I take my 10 and I come right in here and I dig in right to the corner of the lip right here with my 10, just like this. Okay, and that makes that pop out also. It really, you know, defines this area and that makes um, the lip pop. So same thing, drag your blade from here to the corner of your lip. Okay, I hope that helped you guys.